Hello, 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 how's it going my YouTube peeps? So I got this new product, they claim that I can vacuum up colorful cereal, also vacuum up whole milk, I don't believe their claim, so let's go ahead and personally try this out, see how well it does. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Nathan here, World Masters. I'm super excited today, we just got a cool product coming down the pipeline in one second. But before we begin, I just want to say hi to our new guest here. Hey, say hi. Oh, hey, Bob Shark, how's it going? Okay, uh, Bob Shark's gonna help me out today. Uh, okay, Bob Shark, show me what we got today. Whoa, what is this, guys? Bobot? Bob Shark? Hmm, I wonder if it's the same company. Make the world clean. Wow, craziness. You guys, know what this is? Let's go now, flip this around. This is a cordless wet and dry vacuum floor washer. So, Besides just being able to vacuum your floors, you can also wash your floors. I'm super excited because this also has a self-cleaning feature. So let's go ahead and uh, check out the box here. Uh, hold up a second. You gotta check out the box first before we can open it. Just one second, please. I know Bob Shark's anxious to get this open. So let's just check out the box real quick and then I'll have Bob Shark open this up for us. Okay, so here's some of the specs here and also uh, some of the features has the wet mopping mode, also there's a uh, dirty water tank and a fresh water tank, and there's a UV light to help kill the germs, and there's a little uh, control panel to let you know when you need to change out the water tank or the battery life, and also this guy has a deep cleaning ability, so we'll see how well it does on carpets, and it can get the dirt and grime. So let's go ahead and get this guy opened up, and we'll check out this Bobot stick vacuum. Well, Bob Shark finally gets to unbox the box. Uh, he couldn't wait any longer, so he's gonna go and throw everything on the ground for me. Hopefully, he can pick it up because this is a lot of stuff that he's pulling out of this giant box. So this is a very unique system, very similar to like a carpet cleaner where it has a fresh water tank where you can put chemicals in it to help with the cleaning performance. Also the operation is fairly simple and you can see that it has a front brush roll with the vacuum motor to suck up the dirt and debris in its dirty water tank. This also has a UV lamp to help kill the bacteria that's on your floors. Okay, so I'm going to see how well this vacuum slash mopping system does. So I'm going to call Bob Shark to help me out. He's more accurate than I am. So he's going to put down about 2 ounces of dirt. Also, he's going to lay down some water and kind of spread the dirt around. Look how accurate he is. So I'm so glad that Bob Shark is such a helpful little robot. I can't say that for all my robots. Some of them like to just sit there and do nothing, especially like the Roblox. They like to make a big old mess, especially with the mopping system. If I try to mop up this dirt with the Roblox, well, it's a disaster. I'm just kidding. I love the Roblox. They just aren't designed for this type of mess. Okay, so the robot is designed for this type of material. So we'll see how well it does picking up this dirt and debris. And Bob Shark's having fun making a giant mess on my floor. We have all been there, we've been so focused on other tasks that we accidentally knock over a glass or we spill some cereal. Luckily, the stick vacuum slash mopping system is able to handle a variety of different debris, also different floor types. So we'll put this to the test and see if it can pick up my uh, spilled milk and cereal. Well, what do you guys think about the loudness? I believe this runs around 70 decibels. There's no like vacuum power levels, but you can change the water flow. If you squeeze the trigger, you can actually put down more water on your floors. So what makes this guy unique is it has its own rechargeable battery, so it doesn't require a cord. All you have to do is just put it on its docking station. It takes about two and a half hours to charge, and you get about 30 minutes of runtime. Um, I'm actually quite impressed. Uh, this is actually doing a really good job. I just ran this once. Uh, I feel a little bit of dirt left. But let's do it a second time, but the milk seems to be picked up, and also the cereal was able to be picked up. I'm also going to do this on carpet, see how well it does. Let's do a second pass, and I'll go and uh, run my hand across the floor, see if I notice any dirt. So I picked up all the dirt and debris from the second pass, so I think this did a good job on this challenge. Alright, let's check out the carpet. So, one of the clips in the commercial says that they can pick up the spills on carpet. I'm going to put that to the test. But I found that this vacuum did a really good job with the larger chunks. This is something that a lot of the stick vacuums struggle with. Either the height is too low or the suction inlet just gets clogged up. But this guy had no problems picking up the large dirt and debris. So, I put some powder down and we'll see if this stick slash mopping system can pick it up. And it looks like it can, but... 
kind of spreads around. So I probably don't recommend uh, trying to pick up powder off the carpet. I think it'd be best just to do like a dry vacuuming. So I found that the performance is pretty good on tile as well as like laminates and hardwood floors. So any smooth surfaces this Bobot should do fine. Also on carpeting for like just regular maintenance cleaning, the Bobot does a good job picking up the dirt and debris from your carpets. I found that the battery life is pretty good. You get about 30 minutes of runtime. Also, I found that the charging time is adequate. It takes about two and a half hours to charge on a stocking station. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you the cleaning feature, which is a really cool feature. I haven't seen this on any like carpet cleaners. So that's a really welcoming addition. So I'm gonna definitely show you how that works. So stay tuned till the end of the video and I'll show you the cleaning performance and how well this guy does. Okay, let's go over the setup process. It's pretty easy once you take it out of the box. Also, I'll go over how easy it is to remove the extractor bar and how to clean the stick vacuum. Uh, it's a pretty simple process, especially when you have the self-cleaning ability. Well, it looks like setup's pretty straightforward. Just plug this guy in. Pretty cool looking uh, docking station here. Uh, one thing I noticed is you can't unplug the power adapter, which is kind of interesting, but cool. And you just kind of like put the cable wrap in here and figure out the desired length. Once you do that, just kind of feed it through. Place the dock station. Grab the base, which is already pre-built. Should just slap right in here. And you see a little indicator showing you uh, the battery life. I really like this. Next, just grab your handle, has your controls right here. And it should click right in. You're good to go. Pretty simple setup. Oh, what is this, Bob Shark? Oh, thanks, I forgot about that. So yes, uh, this is the water tank. It's probably important to uh, get the water tank. What is this? The instruction manual? I don't read the instructions. Okay, guys, I'm just kidding. It's very important to read the instructions. Uh, there's a lot of great information about it, and it kind of tells you how to uh, operate it and figure out the features. So cool. Thank you, Bobot. Okay, so here's a look at the water tank. Uh, it's about maybe a pint size. Um, one nice thing is there's like a little spring that prevents the water from flowing out once you take it to your stick vacuum. Now, you can fill up the water up to here. You just warm up cold water and then up to there is your chemicals. So I do recommend like a mild solution. Uh, Bissell or any other type of carpet cleaner sh solution should work since they use similar components. But I know Bobot probably has their own cleaning solution. So you can check out the website uh, down below if you want to learn more about this guy and the accessories. So, okay, let's go ahead and get this installed. So the back here, there's actually a little slot. So all it does is just slot in, just kind of press down, and you're good to go. Look at the unit. Um, so right now it's off, but if I turn the power button up top, it actually gives you a nice little battery indicator right there. Now, if your water bit is not full, or your fresh water tank's not full, it'll actually flash right there. And this is your uh, full tank. So once the dirty water tank fills up, it'll flash right there. So I like the indicators. Now, as you're running the unit, you can actually turn on the UV light. Okay, let's look underneath it. So here's that large extractor bar, and then there's some wheels on the side there, and there's that UV light right there, and some additional wheels in the back. So pretty minimalistic design, but we'll see how well this design works. Um, let's check out the extractor bar. So to remove the extractor bar, there's like a little groove right here for your fingers. Just kind of pull up, and the extractor bar just pops right off. Very cool. And I actually noticed there's some like uh, denser material or like little... Uh, with these little barbs or something to help capture the dirt and debris. But for the most part, it's a soft uh, brush roll. Cool. And make sure it's facing down like this when you uh, put it in. Snaps, and then put your cover back on. And you're good to go. All right, let's go and remove the dirty water tank. Just a single button right here. Here's a look at the tank. Notice this component inside, this actually is the uh, water level. So once that rises, it will actually let the machine know that the dirty water tank is uh, full. Nice little uh, air gasket or I guess air filter up top. Cool. Snaps right in. Lastly, okay, so here are the controls. We got the UV light up here, we got the power button, and inside the handle is actually a toggle trigger and we actually have a clean button right here. Remember is it has to be on a docking station for the clean function to work so, and it takes about 30 seconds to uh, complete.
I did add a little Bristol cleaning solution which is designed for the carpet cleaners. Now you can go to Bobot's website and get the cleaning tablets which they recommend to help with the cleaning performance. Now I don't recommend any harsh chemicals because you could damage the unit. Now here's a side by side comparison, the dirty one on the left and the clean one on the right and you can see how well it did. Well, what do you guys think? Do you want to drink this? Uh, it's pretty nasty. So I actually vacuumed twice. My floors looked fairly clean, but when I went over to the Bobot, it picked up all this nastiness. And check it out, guys. With my uh, different debris challenge, milk, cereal, was able to pick it up, no problems. Uh, so good job, Bobot, for providing me this unit. Thanks again. It's actually a really good uh, mop vacuum combo. So if you're looking for a good uh, mopping system, I think this is a good choice. Uh, it did a pretty good job in my testing. So you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys next time.